What's up guys, I'm Seam and I'm here with Rick today. Uh, so we're gonna be making a Glaive type beat in the style of his song Astrid. Good, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be making a Glaive type beat in the style of his song Astrid. Rick is gonna play the guitar and then I'm gonna do the drums and do this like four on the floor kick pattern that everyone knows. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. gonna run through this one a little bit quicker than last loops but let's go so i started with playing this simple chord progression with a uh, descending bass line and the same top notes on top of it uh eq reverb basic stuff uh turn down the lead melody a little bit and reverb delay uh, turn down the counter melody even more again reverb delay just basic yeah same thing and for this kind of like another riff layer, I took out more lows and I did like a more heavier delay and then a bass line with like arch type, make it sound more real. So the reason I don't have that many effects uh, going on, like here you can see only EQ reverb is because my amp already has like pre-built effects. I already get like the amp sound on the guitar, so I don't need all of those VSTs. Uh, sometimes I do use those though, but not for this one. So I'm gonna pass this loop out to Seam right now. Peace. Hi, I got the loop pulled up right here, and now I'm gonna make a beat with it. I'm gonna cut out the MP3 for. I'm gonna cut out the MP3 for. <laughs> I'm gonna cut off the. First, I'm gonna cut out the MP3 silence. Uh, and then I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna put a gross beat on there and then use this gate so it gives you this groove but i want to sidechain that to the kick i'm gonna use kickstart for that but you can use the, the limiter to sidechain you can even do fruity balance i do this sometimes too but uh kickstart is like when you have a set rhythm like it just goes boom 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 you know when you have like an 808 pattern and you want to sidechain it to the kick, you can use Pretty Balance. You just create an automation clip for the volume, um, for like a certain part, and you drag it down. Then it goes back up in volume, and then you have to do that like really quick. So like that, that's how you do it. So, but I'm going to use Kickstart for this, and just use the default. I'm going to use my Ethereal and Hive Mind drum kit a lot for these uh, drums. So first I want to get this bass. I basically use this bass in every beat I make in this style. Because, I don't know, it just works very well. I'm going to do a little pause at the end here where it's just the melodies playing. And I'm going to take the bass and the kick out. So I like, that's the beat breathe a little more. And I'm just going to repeat that pattern for the next four bars. Goofy Goober Kick. Then I'm going to get the Goofy Goober Kick from, from my Ethereal Drum Kit. Uh, this one is really nice for these type of beats, and I just uh, fill each four step. And this is just basically the rhythm you want to have. And then take these two out. And it sounds kind of weird right now, because it's not sidechained. I'm going to put some sound guys around there first. A little. Some chorus. But the most important thing right now is to sidechain this one too. I want a little more of that transient in there. Not too much, just a tiny bit, so I'm going to bring the mix a bit down. On the melody, it's like fully on. I'm going to do this, it's a little loud though, and I want some hyper dimension and a little less reverb. Alright, so I'm going to make a melody now. I want to sidechain this too, of course. I'll put some effects on there in a bit, I'm going to just make the melody first. Oops.
I want to use like a little top kick, but it doesn't have to be much. You can use literally anything for this. Just like a kick, but you want to take out all the low, all the low end. And basically only leave like a little click that you can put on top of the kick. I'm going to use a hi-hat. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. Um, what I forgot to do is make an automation clip for the gross beat and the kickstart because I only want that side chaining and the gate on the hook. I want to use my own bass. I want to do this fade in Reese thing. So I'm going to use my Reese preset for that. And we're going to automate this. Okay, and then let's get the bass notes and put them in the bass. Make them extended. It's so hot. Right, we gotta keep going though. I'm gonna use a build up noise and like that. And now we need a little build up loop. I have like a kind of a remake of the asteroid loop in this kit. And I'm gonna do this in advance because I know I'm gonna be uh, taking some more high frequencies in but i don't want to overdo it so i want like a softer low pass but it's not cutting out that many highs i'll see if that's too much or not. let's split these by channel and i want to take these kick off by the way this is probably my most used shortcut in apple studio and it's just selecting two patterns and doing Control g to merge them because usually I layer a lot of sounds and to like clean up my arrangement I just merge everything that's like layered so I get this I think we want to take out the hi-hat for the first part to top it off I'm gonna use the asteroid clap we can even use like the same type of rhythm I think it goes like Maybe randomize the panning a bit and the velocities. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. That's basically to be done um you could add like a secondary melody or something sometimes i do that but on the other hand i don't really need it yeah i hope you guys learned something you can implement this shit in your own beats and just try to give like your own spin on it if you want any of the drum kits used you can buy them on my website if you want loops by rick you can buy uh, his loop kits almost forgot the option i'm just gonna do this for that that's it uh, subscribe to the A2 channel so you don't miss any new tutorials and I'll see you guys in the next one.